Hey everyone, it's Jack Phoenix here. Now, a lot of you have been asking me how to handle a knife attack. Out of all the research I've done, three questions seem to always come up. Question number one, what is the best way to hold a knife? Seriously, are you kidding? The best way to hold a knife? In your hand. Question number two, what is the best kind of knife to have? A sharp one. And question number three, what do I do if someone attacks me with a knife? I'm gonna show you the best way to handle a knife attack. I know what you're thinking. What if I can't run away, especially not that fast? Don't worry, I was once like you. I knew nothing about knife fighting, but after extensive research, I discovered a way of fighting with a knife and how to train that is very effective and very easy to learn. Before we get into the how-to, let's dispel a couple myths. First myth, blocking a knife. Are you kidding? This is ridiculous. Back in the old days, a knife had to be thrust out in order to penetrate armor. Nowadays, that knife retracts. It's flailing out there. You don't have time to block it, let alone disarm it. So there's only one real way that you can deal with this safely and effectively. In the Filipino martial arts, they used a method that they called defanging the snake. Rather than actually step back and block the opponent's weapon and then try to strike, what the Filipinos did was they inflicted damage on the very first beat. So when that person struck with their weapon, they immediately used their weapon to destroy or cut their opponent's weapon hand. They called this defanging. on a subject by so many who know so little. Now when Gus tries to strike me with his knife, all I have to do is move back and cut him. Doesn't matter which angle he cuts me from, I'm just moving away and cutting. He can come underneath, he can come over the top, he can come around this side, he can come from the other side. All I'm doing is I'm moving back and cutting Gus's wrist. This is what is meant by defanging a little time knife sparring. The purpose of knife sparring is to further develop your attributes. Attributes such as footwork, movement, timing, reflexes. And remember two things as you're knife sparring. Number one, your first and primary goal is to not get cut. Number two, your second goal is to cut your opponent's weapon hand. <laughs> Now there is one other option 
when it comes to dealing with a knife attack. Kind of hard to recommend that one. It's frowned upon in most states. So there you have it, folks. Some simple yet very effective ways to train so that you can learn to have a better chance of surviving a knife attack. This is Jack Phoenix. Thanks for watching. And remember, you don't know Jack, you don't know Jack.